This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now then, if you were watching last Sunday, you will have seen me uh, checking out this rather handsome beast. This is a Fender Player Series HH Telecaster. And uh, it belongs to a friend of mine called David. He's loaned me loads of guitars to do reviews and videos about in the past. And he just basically said, did I want to borrow it? So, of course, I said yes. The um, the thing about this guitar is it was, uh, when, I, when I first became aware of these... Um, not specifically this one it was um it was this model but it was uh, in like a, a lovely kind of sunburst finish when i first became aware of these i was talking about what's oh, a lovely guitar i wouldn't mind getting my hands on one of those on the uh, live stream one week and there was a fellow called dan um watching who uh, got in touch with me and said i'm building um a twin humbucker telecaster would you like to review it and i said yes and that whole process led to dan building me this guitar this is blondie this is my signature guitar uh twin humbucker telecaster as you can see it's a little bit different to the uh, fender one um the fender has alder body maple neck um power ferro fretboard and um well I'll, I'll put a link in the description to uh, what's going on with the fender guitar but this is a uh, sapelli body sapelli neck nice lovely recessed um heel joint there Cluson locking tuners uh vanson uh, classic 57 pafs you've got a um a push push pot there to chop the humbuckers in half and get single coil sounds and residing on that switch there you've also got um like the kind of out of phase peter green sound this is a beautiful guitar i absolutely really really love it um you know just the fact that you know i've got a signature guitar is um I, can't st I still f have to pinch myself every time I say that. But anyway, I thought it would be um, interesting to put both guitars side by side, putting the um, the signature guitar up against the guitar which um, sort of sparked the whole process, got the ball rolling towards me getting a signature guitar. So I'll tell you what. Here's a little piece of music that I recorded using both guitars. You'll hear a range of clean and dirty tones. Uh, both guitars get roughly the same amount of airtime uh, in this, and you'll hear them doing the same kind of tones, um, you know, on the um, on the track. Uh, let's have a listen.
And as always, there is a full tab for that piece of music in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing it and a jam track for you to play along with for yourself. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address and the link is in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these goodies and bits and pieces that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive heartfelt thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are also linked down there in the description. Um, so yes, now in terms of settings, what I was playing through there, uh, most of it was, uh, just going through, uh, my, um, Marshall DSL-1CR, which is mic'd up with a little Behringer, uh, B906 microphone. Uh, that's what I'm using a lot for recording at the moment. There was one tone, it was a crunchy sort of power chord, uh, part, which I just couldn't quite get the tone dialed in on the on the amp the way i wanted i have done since uh actually i've discovered that what i need to do to get the, that sort of um that crunchy classic rock power chord tone uh successfully recorded from uh from the amp but in, i was in a hurry when i was recording that piece of music i just used a plug-in i was using um a plexi plug-in in uh, positive grid bias amp too anyway so that's what the two guitars sound like together um what do you think um, I can't pretend that I'm going to be, you know, impartial and objective about this. You know, the, um, the Fender is a beautiful guitar. I really, really like this guitar so much so that I made David an offer, uh, for it. But, um, sadly he wasn't, um, he wasn't in a selling kind of mood. So I really, really love this guitar. But my heart belongs to Blondie. Um, you know this. Um, I, you know, it's it sort of confirmed something for me. Anyway, uh, well, a number of things. First of all, that um, yes, I like Telecaster style guitars. I especially like them with a pair of humbuckers, and um, you know this guitar. I have a lot, a lot of like kind of lovely guitars in this room, as you can see. But this is the one that always feels like I'm coming home. And uh, much as I enjoyed uh, having a little bit of a rattle around on that player Telecaster, this is, you know, this is the one that makes me. Oh yeah, okay. This is the uh, this is the one for me. Would you agree? Did you prefer the sound of this one in the mix, or did you prefer the Fender? I won't be offended if you um, if you didn't uh, if you thought the uh, the other guitar came out on top um yeah i really love this guitar and the other thing as well i mean these pickups uh vanson classic 57 pafs they are really really dirt cheap you can pick those up for about 30 quid a set not each for a set on ebay and um you know people are always saying oh why didn't you get better pickups in, in the guitar well because I think these are pretty good pickups, you know. Um, they certainly sound, um, you know, good. Um, sounded good enough to me on that track there. And then you get people saying, "Oh yes, but of course, it'll all anything can be made to sound good when you're just using some software plugin." Well, yeah, but I was using, you know, a Marshall Valve combo for that, um, you know. So it's, I think that ticks all the boxes of the criteria that you need to test whether a guitar sounds any good or not. And to me, these uh, Vanson Classic 57s are, you know, a very, very good sounding pickup. And I like them, which is why I, I uh, when I spec this guitar up, why I, I asked Dan to put these in. Um, so there you go. Let me know what you think of how the two guitars compare down in the comments section below. Genuinely interested to, um, to hear what you think of how they compare. And um, yes, as I say, I prefer this one but feel free to express a preference either way and that is pretty much the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and found it entertaining in some small way and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and what's happening there uh, i've got a notification on the other pc um yes Hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't done so, already done so. And why not drop me a like while you're at it. Don't forget, as always, the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer and talk music and guitars. What a fantastic way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.